Hi, everybody. Welcome to Considerations and Cautions to Using EFT Tapping for Your Own Self-Care. Thanks for watching this. I feel like this is really important and it's something not a lot of people talk about. So I just wanted to go over this really, really quickly for you um, on what you should and should not be tapping on. So one of the things that you want to think about before you do your own self-care tapping routine, first of all, never, ever want to be tapping on your own traumas or events that are really, really terrifying. Anything that feels abusive, anything that was life-threatening for yourself or another person, even if you just saw it, um, that is something that you do not want to tap on without support of professional help. No matter what you think about it, even if you think it's over, it can really stir up some deep things. I do not want you to be re-traumatized. Re Number two, anything that's super uncontrollable, compulsive thoughts really severe anxiety, things that are over and over again, nightmares, flashbacks, leave those for work with a professional. Also, I'm going to have you evaluate how strong every emotion is for every situation you think of from zero, meaning non-existent to 10, meaning overwhelming. For sure, don't tap on anything seven or above without some support. Um, but even over six, just be a little bit more cautious. It's not necessarily a contraindication, but just be really cautious knowing that if you go too global, if you work on something too big, too broad, it can actually go up and get you into a place where it can be a little bit emotionally challenging for you to manage without some kind of support. So just make sure that you're working on things that feel safe, that feel effective for you, because overall, what we wanna do is really give you the best support and the best progress with emotional freedom techniques as possible. So to work with another professional practitioner, if you're working on traumatic, terrifying events, uncontrolled addictions, if something's too overwhelming with, to work with yourself, any kind of long-term social or interpersonal trauma, a history of abuse, but also if you're working with EFT and you're not seeing results, it's not that EFT doesn't work. It might be that there's part of you that's not ready to buy in yet because it's keeping you safe. There may be something that you're not addressing that's actually deeper than what you think it is that you're working on. And then of course, we're also great to help you with support and accountability with EFT goals. So remember that whatever you're working with, your belief is gonna create your attitude, creates your behavior, creates your result, reinforces your belief. Often we try to start with behaviors EFT tapping will help you change not only your belief and attitude so you can have better behaviors and better results. So this whole thing becomes easier so you can have calm, clarity, courage, confidence, and choice. That's my goal for you. I've got links in the bio and with every single tapping session. So I hope this was supportive for you. Please take care of yourself. And I'm so glad that you've come to the world of EFT tapping. Have a lovely and beautiful day. And remember, you are loved, you're loving, and you are lovable.